levy doesn't pass, there's a lot of things that are not going to be able to be available, resources for our families uh, and our kids. While many people are focused on the candidates this election, a number of districts are hoping to draw some attention to their issues. Tonight, the Hilliard City Schools superintendent held another informational session at Brown Elementary School. The hope at these meetings is to get voters on board with a levy and a bond issue on the November ballot. 10 TV's Carly Dion was at that meeting tonight. She joins us now live in studio with more on what that ballot issue entails. Carly? Yolanda, as much as $10 million could be cut from the Hilliard City Schools budget if the levy and bond issue don't pass in November. So the district has been working around the clock to educate voters out there about what's at stake. Teachers jobs are on the line, um, salaries on the line, opportunities of different types of educational programs for students are on the line. Some parents in the Hilliard City Schools District acknowledging what's at stake if the levy and bond issue don't pass next month. The 6.9 mil operating levy would support day-to-day -day operations of the school district, while the bond issue would allow the district to issue $142 million to construct, renovate, and improve facilities. It's going to be great for the school district and and looking four years ahead and hopefully even further it's going to allow for so much to happen um, that's necessary. If passed, the combined levy and bond issue would cost homeowners $242 per $100,000 of home value a year. Some opposed to the levy are against another rise in taxes after a levy for the Norwich Township Fire Department passed earlier this year. But Superintendent David Stewart says it's necessary funding because school district revenues don't increase naturally with rising property values. And because because of you know reappraisals just happening here recently, um, it, it's natural for people to assume that just because um, their property values went up a significant amount that their property taxes and, and our revenues are going to go up uh, an equal amount and that's just not accurate. Some of the projects the money would be used for includes replacing and building three elementary schools, a preschool center and safety upgrades. Stewart says if the levy fails, seven to ten million dollars would need to be cut from the district's operating budget for the next school year, which means nearly 100 jobs would also be cut. It's scary to see the, the trajectory that could potentially happen, the forecast, if, if we don't pass it. The district outlined a contingency plan of cuts that would have to be made, including reduced programming and more fees for extracurricular activities. That's what keeps me awake at night is knowing that, um, unfortunately, some, some things that, that are, are what's best for our students would have to be eliminated as a result. Now, Hilliard is just one of several school districts in central Ohio with a levy on the ballot this November. And you can find more information about that and the upcoming election on our website and mobile app. Carly Dion, 10TV News.